Hello guys, today I want to show you a quick example of Laravel routes with the idea that you can experiment inside of your routes and add more logic, if statements and more features inside of the same routes file, which actually makes it quite readable. It is especially relevant if you're creating some kind of package or a framework or something like that with a lot of configuration possible. So this is an example of Laravel just stream routes file and I wanted to show you two things here. So we have a few route get statements here, route get, route get, route group and stuff like that. But as you can see, there are if statements around them. So if we have that feature, then we enable those routes. If we have API feature, we enable that route. If we have team features, we enable that set of routes. In other words, if that feature is not enabled in your configuration, then all those routes would throw 404 errors, which is exactly what you want to achieve in most cases, but also it allows you to enable those features easier in the future by changing if conditions directly in the file or changing the config like in here, for example. So one thing I wanted to show you is just don't be afraid to add if statements in the routes file. And then also don't be afraid to add even more logic. So for example, this one, we have middleware from the config, which is configurable in JetStream, and we have two kinds of middleware. And then you add array filter and array values to dynamically build that middleware. By the way, in my Tinkerwell, I will show you what those actually mean. So for example, if you have null middleware for auth and session middleware this, then array filter would result in this. So that's a PHP function. That's kind of a mini PHP lesson of array functions. So array filter would filter out the null values. And then you don't need that key. You just need the values. That's why you call another function called array values, which results in just the list of middlewares, which is exactly what you need to pass into middleware parameter. And then that logic of if statements like JetStream has this and has that may be elsewhere. Inside of the routes, JetStream loads the main file, the main class of JetStream, which has all those functions inside, like has terms, has account deletion, has this, has that, which is hidden from the routes, but loaded into the routes. And in my opinion, it makes it really readable. So whoever is using JetStream in the future, they would have a pretty clear picture of what routes are possible and how to enable them. For that, of course, you would need to read JetStream documentation, how to enable that has API features to return true. But generally my point here is do not be afraid to add more logic to your routes file. It doesn't have to be just route group and route get. There may be if statements, configurable values, and other stuff. What do you think about this approach of JetStream? Would you do it the same way or would you abstract it somewhere else? Share your opinion in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.